YouTube, it's Sammy. Welcome on in. So good to see y'all. So this is actually a very special moment because this is my first ever exclusive YouTube video. Um, so none of y'all have ever seen any of this before. It's very exciting, super fun. Um, and I'm excited to go on this little journey with y'all. Uh, today we're actually doing a DLC Animal Crossing house, and I thought it would be kind of fun to take YouTube along with me. Uh, so here we go. I saw this prompt. Uh, right away and I thought that this was so cool. I really like like the Sherlock Holmes kind of thing like the murder mystery type stuff So I thought that this would be so fun to do. Uh, so let's get into it. What were you thinking Monty? Okay, um Not the chair I would have used but you know, it's fine. I do try and keep the locations a little realistic Eh, you know what? We might just have to do the, um, the city one. Where is that? We might just have to do this. I, I build a lot of lots on this one. I wish there were more lots that had, like, a city kind of feel or, like, you know, like, in a town. A little mystery solver club. Okay, so I'm eager to get inside just right away. Uh, get me in and say absolutely nothing. <laughs> I'm so excited for this. This will be such a fun prompt. Let's see what they want me to use. So they have this. Now, I do kind of like this vibe, but not the red. Um, and I don't really like the other suggested stuff, so we're going to go into our personal arsenal and see what we can come up with. So maybe we do something like that and then put like a little accent wall here. I like that. Now, I won't know if I fully like it without the floors, though. The floors are essential. I do kind of like that. However, I'm going to switch the grain. There we go. If you didn't know, you can actually change the direction of the floor. I feel like most people know that, but I don't know. Maybe not everybody. So immediately, I noticed that they suggested that we use this couch. And I'm so into it. So I do want to use this. However, we have a lot of different swatches that we can use um although i do kind of like this what the heck i do kind of like like the green floral vibe i kind of like the idea of the desk being in the middle of the room um i feel like it's kind of like commanding and i don't know i kind of just dig it I'm gonna work with the uh, partition walls and I'm just gonna see if there's anything in particular that I want to put in. Now, I might do a little wall behind the chair. Just cause, I don't know, like, I feel like that looks kinda cool. Oh, you know what? Maybe back here we do like a, like a laboratory or like a, I don't know, like a research area since um they're like a detective agency or at least that's the vibe that i'm attempting to go for i do like the dark wood actually didn't think i would but i do um i'm actually gonna duplicate the desk as well i kind of want like an assistant area um so i i might put that there You know what? I always gravitate towards this lamp just because it's so cute. I might do this. I feel like that looks good. Ooh, I'm gonna throw this out too because I wanna put that somewhere. By the way, when we did this, there's a lot of stuff in here that I wanna use. Like, look how cool all of this looks. Okay, we are looking for typewriter, so we need to go to T. Hold. Only an F. I'm gonna take a nap under the desk real quick and then I'll be back. Come on. T! Okay, here we go, here we go. 
Oh my gosh, we found it. Oh my gosh, finally, we did it. We did it. <laughs> Maybe right here. Um, and then I want a little table over here. I'm actually gonna put the phone next to the couch, I think. I'm also gonna change the wood grain. Change it to brown, I think. There we go, yup. Ooh, we're definitely gonna have to put like the uh, detective hat and the coat out somewhere. Yes, that'll look so good. Although I think there might be an actual chalkboard. The typewriter was in the recommended items the whole time. I do want to put a little light over it though. Yeah, let's do a little light there, right over the desk. Although I do want to match the swatch to the uh, to the hanging one. So let's do that really quick. I think the damaged one looks the best with the hanging one right there. Also, I'm kind of thinking going a little bit like the medical route back here. Um, maybe they like examine, uh, things back there so I want to go kind of like you know a, a metal desk and then maybe we do yeah maybe we put like a metal cabinet over here oh this is exactly what I wanted I want that kind of vibe oh the chalkboard I was also looking for that earlier maybe they think about things over there Actually, you know what? Let's just give in. We're giving in. 10 by 10. We're giving in. I normally like to work in 8 by 10 spaces, but I feel like with the vision here, we do need a little bit more room than we originally thought we needed, which is totally fine. So we'll do this. This will be the area with the... um with the research going on and then over here, I'm gonna split it probably just down the middle. Over here will be the little medical area. Maybe we extend this out so it's a full wall here. And then maybe they walk over through the office um, and that's where they go that way. Maybe the homework set actually, does that kind of look like research? Ooh, I actually kind of like that. Okay. And then I might throw books up here just to make it look a little bit more like a, a study area. Here we go. They just examine things over here, you know? They try and put two and two together over here. Um, now, I do think that the, the messy papers and whatnot would look best over here. You know, like maybe they're doing a lot of late night crunch crunches. <laughs> you know the ones, the, this one right here, the fluorescent lights. This is like classic hospital lighting. You'll find uh, while I'm live doing these on Twitch that I will test a lot of things and I'll be like, eh, never mind. And I feel like that is my best advice to people who are just starting out in the um, Animal Crossing DLC. Uh, just try stuff like all the time, like throw stuff out there. Um, you know, if it doesn't work, who cares? Just delete it. I also definitely feel like we need a briefcase. I don't know. Anytime I think about like a detective, I'm like, they need a briefcase. Like that just makes sense, right? They need one. I also decided that um, I'm going to put the couch in front of the desk because this is kind of like a consulting area. Um, so they like walk in and then over here, like they've got, um, you know, a little side table. I think I might um, put a little... Uh, a little side table right here um, and then put tea on it. And out of all of them, we should probably use this one, right? This one probably fits the vibes the best. I don't know, <laughs> out of all of them. Actually, you know what? There are quite a few accents with gold on them in the main room. So 
I might change it to this one. <gasps> I feel like that matches the couch really well too. Okay, I also decided that I'm gonna move the assistant desk uh, to this back wall right here. So we're gonna put the filing cabinet there. We're gonna move the desk here. Gonna put this chair here. Yeah, I feel like we section it off. I don't know though. Let's see, let's see. Let's just, let's just try. Like I like it, but I don't know if I love it. And that's the problem with a lot of these builds. You know what? I think I'm gonna turn it back to what I had originally. I'm gonna leave it down here. Um, because I think I liked that the best before I really started messing with it. Maybe we put them in jail. We separate it with jail bars. There we go. The way I do kind of like that. What is wrong with me? <laughs> Look at that though. Oh, that's kind of sick. But I feel like it doesn't make sense. I don't know. I thought that was kind of cool though. Okay, I do think that I kind of just want to chalk it off. Chalk it off. <laughs> um, with a chalkboard. Maybe I push the desk all the way to the corner. There we go. There we go. I think I like that a lot better. Okay, cool. Actually, you know what would be cute? Maybe we put a little fireplace right here. Um, and then we put like an extra chair or something. I feel like that could be kind of cute. Maybe we put the antique chair, the one that kind of matches the couch. I have this little trick that I do sometimes where I put a couple pillars to kind of act as a fake wall. Um, so I might do that here. Just to kind of section it off even further. Okay, so I didn't love the pillars as much as I thought I would. I'm having a little trouble with this build. Not like a ton of trouble, but just like a little bit of trouble trying to figure out like what I all want to work in this space. So I feel like maybe we just go with something like this. Okay, so I gave in. I gave in and I think I'm just gonna put a part an actual partition wall here. <laughs> I think it looks nice. Um I think I think it looks great. But I, I just gave I gave in. I finally gave in and I was like, fine, you know what? We will put a, <laughs> a partition wall here. We will. There we go. I think that looks really nice. I'm also gonna add a little plant over here. Just cause, I don't know. I put plants in literally every single one of my builds. I just feel like they make it look more like an actual location. I don't know. I feel like a lot of places just have plants. I feel like it makes sense. In the recommended, they uh, put this cute little umbrella stand. So I might put this right at the entrance. Um, and I kind of want, like, more neutral colors. So I think I'm going to put this right when you walk in. Actually, I decided to just stick the uh, plant up here. And I think it looks really nice there. I'm actually going to move um, this here. And this here. Ooh, yep. I like that a lot. So we have like the assistant's office right here, uh, which I really like. And then we have the little sitting area. And then we have the actual like detective work area. This is like where they um, provide their consultation. And then over here, they have like a cute little um, waiting area with a telephone if they need to make any calls. 
And then over here, they have the research facility. They have like the telescope and you know, the, uh, the books and the research. And then they have the little medical area right here. Um, so I really, really like this. Okay, so right above the door, I'm actually gonna hang this little plaque. Um, just cause I feel like maybe it's like an award winning, uh, detective agency. So they have like a little, you know, a little award. And then I want to hang a painting, um, right above here. Uh, just cause I feel like, I feel like it needs it, you know? There we go. I feel like now that we moved that over, we do need a little something there. But what? Yeah, an actual plant actually fits really well right there. Um, I am gonna put it maybe something like that. Actually, is there a brown? That's the only brown. Maybe that looks fine, I don't know. Do we like that? I, I feel like that looks fine, right? I actually want to put the little coat over here somewhere. So definitely this one. We put the coat here. Um, and then the briefcase can kind of go wherever, you know. Now this chair is unfortunately not functional um, since I would have to back it up so much. Um, but I am going to change the color of it. There, oh wow, that fits so much better. Wow. We need to put the little detective outfit on Monty. And is he not so cute? Look at him. Oh my goodness. Look how sweet he is. Look at that. It's his little detective agency. Okay, so now comes a really quick test. Um, I like to make my builds sort of functional. So I wanna make sure that they can walk places and, and sit in at least some of the chairs. I don't really care if there's some of them that they can't, like obviously they can't sit in that chair right there. Um, and they're not going to be able to sit in this chair either. But I like that they can sit in the couch. Um, that makes me really happy, and I like that they can get over here pretty easily. Um, they could sit in the research chair, and they can come over here um, pretty easily and, and navigate through things. So I feel like we did a pretty good job. Um, the only thing that I'm noticing that I really don't like is that this, uh, oops, this back wall right here is so plain. There's like a little bit more dimension when you look back here now. Um, which I think we needed. I really like everything in here. I feel like it's just a really good detective agency. And he looks the part and it's just really cute. I'm really happy with it. Let's do our cute little montage now. It's ready. Here we go. Say Monty. All right. No, oh, thanks Monty. I appreciate it. All right, here we go. The Mystery Solver Club. <gasps> Perfect. Oh, that was so cute, right? Gosh, I loved that. Okay. All right, pals, that's it for the YouTube video. Thank you again so much for being here and watching my content, whether it's here on YouTube or live on Twitch. Um, I appreciate all the support so much. Y'all are lovely. And like I said, this one's for the books. This is the first ever exclusive for YouTube video. Um, so thank you again. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe um, or head over to my Twitch and follow and enjoy the content that we make over there. We play a lot of Animal Crossing and whatnot and we would love to have you. Um, but like I said, Monty's house turned out so stinking cute. Um, I'm really glad with the way that it turned out and I feel like he was happy with it and I hope that y'all were happy with it too. Um, but regardless, I'm gonna head out. Uh, but I will see y'all in the next video. Take care yourselves. Have a good one. Goodbye.